In this revision video, we're going to take a look at System 1 and System 2 thinking. Now, human decision making is often far removed from the assumption of rationality, cold, calculated logic assumed in classical models and theories. People don't always size up all the costs and benefits of every single decision. Instead, our choices are shaped and framed and influenced by two distinct modes of thinking. System 1 thinking is fast, intuitive and often emotional. System 2 is, more, is slower, more deliberate, analytical and considered. This dual process theory, System 1 and System 2, was popularised and researched by psychologist Daniel Kahneman. And Danny Kahneman won the Nobel Prize for Economics for his work, although much of his research is rooted firmly in psychology. Now, rather than assuming people always act rationally, the dual process framework, System 1, System 2, to many people offers a more realistic lens for investigating and examining our decisions. So, System 1. This is instinctive, it's fast, it's automatic, it's effortless and often emotionally charged. For example, our gut instinct. It operates subconsciously, and relies heavily on heuristics, rules of thumb, mental shortcuts that allow us to make quick, incisive judgments and decisions without necessarily engaging in slow, deliberate analysis. System 1, however, is prone to systematic biases and errors in judgment. And you will have come across some of these biases if you've studied behavioural economics. One example is the anchoring bias, where people rely too heavily on the first piece of information that comes to mind. That becomes the anchor when making a decision. Another good example is the framing bias. The way that choices are presented, the choice architecture insanely influences decisions in some cases. System one reacts to context and not just content. Now, system two thinking. Well, this is slower, more deliberate, effortful. It's a way of deliberative, cognitive processing, working things out. And it happens when individuals perform complex reasoning, they take time and energy to solve unfamiliar problems, and they do a full evaluation of competing choices using logic and hard evidence. System 2 acts as a monitor or override for System 1, but as Kahneman showed, it's often delayed, it's slow, it's lazy, and often disengaged. Now, Kahneman showed that unless people are motivated and cognitively able to engage System 2, often they go with the intuitive and often flawed judgments and reasoning of System 1. You will have done some work on behavioural nudging. Nudges, popularised by the work of Richard Thaler and Cass Sunstein, are primarily designed to influence System 1. So, to recap, System 1 is fast, Unconscious, requires minimal effort, relies heavily on rules of thumb, and typically we use it for very routine tasks and calculations uh, where quick judgments are needed, but we're prone to bias. System two is slow, conscious, involves high effort, and relies low heuristics. In other words, people need to make calculations. We typically use it for complex problem solving and reasoning and decision analysis. Now, System 2 uses up mental energy, but it's less susceptible to bias. So be aware of System 1 and System 2 when you're revising behavioural economics.